Gosh, dang it. This Mustang's getting stuck. Come on, old Mustang. Well, I think that's all we're gonna get there. But guys, we've arrived back in Elm Creek. And last night, someone came through and vandalized the city. They quite literally flooded it with all this mud throughout the entire city. It goes on and on and on and it never stops. Check this out. They went all the way down. I was not kidding. And it is crazy. But the only problem is, is I'm driving a Ford Mustang. Ford Mustangs are not the best vehicles for going through mud, so we're going to build out some custom trucks and enjoy the day, I guess, because nobody else is out on the road unless you have a pickup truck, because most likely you'll be able to get through. People are literally walking to work here. Check it out. Look at that guy. He's walking to work. Oh my gosh, this is kind of funny, but anyhow, let's head in over to Clever Motors. We're going to customize some new trucks, and then we're going to have some fun today. Oh, I'm not kidding. This mud is pretty sticky, too. You're very easily gonna get stuck in the mud if you're not driving you know all-wheel drive super mud terrain vehicle i mean that's what we're gonna need we're gonna need mud tires the whole grand deal here so let's go see what we can find all right boys we are gonna customize the gmc striker it's got these insane mud tires on it we're going with a lime green paint a hood stack on the front and so many other options this thing is so cool and it's gonna be great for going through the streets with the mud so let's buy it Fifty-six thousand. that's easy money Next up, there's this tracked Brabus 6x6. It's kind of cool. The best thing is the tracks, though, that probably get us through the mud pretty easily. So let's find a good color. I think we're just going to leave it like this. Maybe customize the interior color to blue seats. That looks cool. All right, let's buy it here. We got the carbon fiber, all the cool acts. This thing was, wait, what? $818,000 I spent? Well, I'll never see that money again. All right, here are the first two pickup trucks, we'll call it. You know, this G-Wagon, man, this thing is actually kind of cool. For those that don't like G-Wagons, well, I'm sorry, but this thing is probably going to, you know, do better than the GMC just because it's got tracks. Tracks are really good getting through anything in rough terrain. But we'll start out with the GMC. So here we go. It's fired up. Cool part. Underglow lights. Look at that. This thing is so cool. If you guys are excited, make sure drop a like on today's episode and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. But here we go. We're entering the mud. Oh my gosh. It's bogging down. We're rolling coal. Look at that. Oh, this is sweet. Oh yeah. Oh, it's getting muddy quick. Okay. Jeez. We're actually still flying through though. We're doing 40 miles per hour. There's the Mustang. I can barely see it through the windshield now. It's full of mud. This is insane. Okay, let's check out how far this mud patch goes, and then we'll uh, loop back around. We got to build out some more trucks and stuff, too. And we might actually build out some, like, crazy semis. There's some cool stuff out there with big tires, so we might customize those, too. But let's see. We, we do have to recover the Mustang as well. That's on the list. So we got a lot of things to do. Oh, my God. Gosh, this thing looks so bad. Oh, it's okay. We're mudding, though, technically. So we're able to keep the truck dirty. And then it ends right there. That's weird. They just stopped dumping the mud i don't know who did this in the middle of the night but this is absolutely insane here oh i think it ends okay never mind i was joking jeez the mud just continues on i feel bad for whoever's gonna have to clean this up maybe if it rains it'll help clear the mud oh it ends right here near the bridge okay i think they didn't want to put it on the bridge just because that's kind of pushing it uh they didn't want to put all the mud weight on the bridge that yeah they probably would have gotten trouble for that but they're gonna get in trouble either way for all this and the mud goes all the way to the second city of elm creek this is insane Let's actually head over there and check it out. Just see how far it goes. Oh my gosh. They knocked over street signs, cones. Look at that. That one cone used to be on the corner there. Well, it's all the way down here. They must have did this fast too. I mean, oh my gosh. Oh, this is crazy. And then, uh, yeah. Oh, whoa. They kind of lost it here. I don't know what they were thinking. Maybe they were uh, drinking too many Capri Suns or something. And there it is. It ends. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Let's head on back and let's see if we can get a semi truck built out. Test out the G-Wagon to recover the mustang because the mustang we need to get back that thing is an expensive car we can't leave it there so i'll meet you guys back at the elm creek clever motor all right y'all i'm back but i'm spinning i think the mud is building up on the tires causing it to have some problems so let's get out of here there we go we're making fun of it i mean people are walking to work literally because there's no other roads i mean they could drive on the grass but i don't think the city wants that so they told everybody to just walk to work today and oh my gosh you can actually hear the mud it's like full of water okay but here's the g-wagon let's check this thing out the brab is packaged so yeah, this is awesome all right fire up the lights and everything that's cool we got a horn on this thing oh yeah we got a little bit of a horn okay this is cool here we go let's test it out oh this thing is flying look at that we got like a rooster tail going like a boat hit it boys oh my gosh this is awesome watch out there's a deer oh I guess he's having fun in the mud too look at this is so cool with the tracks though it's just throwing the mud back like no problem and it's honestly doing better than the gmc so those who thought that this thing could not do good well you are mistaken as you can see the tracks are skipping a little bit but it somehow has a cool component that makes it to just keep 
going. It doesn't stop. You know, it doesn't slip. It doesn't really break at all. Like, tires, I feel like they slip and all that stuff. But tracks, they just keep moving just like a tank. All right, enough of G-Wagon stuff. We're not really built for this. We want the American-made Ford pickup truck. And we want a big diesel semi. So we're going to go build out both of those so we can continue testing them out on this mud patch, we should call it. Before, you know... The city decides to clean it up tomorrow. We only have limited time here. We got to rescue that Mustang before they come through with like a snowplow truck and just plow it out of the road because we do not want that. It's just sitting there. It's not dirty too. It's still staying clean. So that's good. Okay, boys, this is the TLX Phoenix Winter Wolf. And the cool thing about this is you can put some insane tires on it. So we're going to do exactly that. Also, the engine setup, you can go from 882 horsepower to almost 1600 or 1590 horsepower. That's insane. And then look at these tires. These are called the Mud Swappers. Exactly what we need for today's video. So uh, let's customize this out. We got some cool themes too. You got the uh, Black Dot Edition. You got the Standard, the Forest Wolf Edition, the Winter Wolf Edition, the Copperhead Edition. Let's go with this one. I think this is pretty cool. This is the All Blacked Out, the matte theme. That looks cool. Visor. We'll add a ghoul cool visor on it. Why not? It's pretty cool. Strobe lights. We're going to need strobe lights to rescue the old Mustang there. So I think that goes right here. So you could do a V strobe or X strobe light in the grill. So that's kind of cool. We'll do the X and then chassis height. Oh, you can raise it up. Okay, we're going to need as much height as possible. So we'll go height number two. Lighting is on the visors. Let's add that. Air filters. Oh, these are cool. Hold on. We're going to do a second one to match it on the other side here. Exhaust. Ooh, okay, okay. We're getting fun here. And you can add a winch on it. Okay, we're going to need the winch to tow that Mustang out. So, yeah, we'll take it. And the color we're going to go with. Let's see if there's a cool lime green. We're kind of going lime green here so you can still see your car within the mud. That's kind of going to be the theme for today's video. So, let's see if we can find a cool bright green color or just a bright color in general here. Oh, I don't mind this color. This is like the Miami Dolphins color. Okay, this is cool. Rim color we'll black it out oh now we're talking boys this is sweet all right let's buy it also i think we're gonna build out a trailer to go along with it to recover the mustang because we don't want to just be towing it through the mud so we gotta find a decently good trailer with off-road tires uh this one's got off-road tires but it's too small all right i think this is the winner here this is the pj 40 footer now the good thing about this is it has this platform right here and i think we might be putting the mustang towards the front of the trailer to level out the weight and help us get through the mud better so all right let's buy this one here it is boys the winter wolf and let's fire up the strobe lights look at that that's awesome all right let's hook it up to our trailer here the pj trailer oh my gosh this is gonna be so good i already can tell i mean look at the tires on this thing man these have got to be at least 44 inch tires maybe a little bit bigger that's kind of crazy let's back up get this thing connected and we'll move out into the mud swamp for the day all right we got the trailer let's move out all right there we go give it all the beans we got fire up the lights look at this it's actually doing pretty good it's bogging down a little bit the trailer is gonna bottom out too so that's why i said we need to get one with like a high elevation and that gooseneck trailer is probably the best option so Oh, okay. We're, we're not slowing down. We're maintaining the speed of 20 miles per hour. So this is good. The only worry is when we come to a stop up here in the mud, we got to recover the Mustang. Here we go. Let's get the ramps down. All right, where's the winch? Let's fire this bad boy up on the truck. Ooh, this thing is high pressure. Well, no, high pressure. Um, Heavy duty. There we go. Okay, let's uh, hook up the back to the wing or something. Something that's got a good pulley point. Probably in the bottom. I think there's a spot. Hook up the winch and the cable. There we go. All right, let's uh, winch this thing out of the trailer. All right, boys, it's going on the trailer slowly but surely. I think right about there should be good. Now we can officially strap this thing down so we don't lose it on the trailer. There we go. Put four straps down. Kind of a crazy day, but all right, let's uh, try and find a spot to spin around to. Probably the gas station. This thing is rolling cold, baby. Alrighty, right here's the spot. Let's spin it around. All right, Mustang recovery. Oh, oh. All right, we're picking up speed. That's good. I was going to say, Mustang recovery was a success. As long as we get back without any damages, we'll be good. Oh, no, that's not good. What just happened? I think the mud just piled up right there, and it stopped our truck. Okay, this isn't good. Come on, pick up speed, boys. Get it moving. Get it moving. Let's go. Ooh, air horns. Oh, no. Oh, no. This is not what I wanted to happen. This is supposed to be the best truck for the job. Hit it. Come on, come on, come on. No, we're losing speed. I mean, we have no speed. Oh, no. All right, this isn't good. I think the trailer is stuck on something. As you can see, we can back up. So let's see if we can get it over. I think it's bottoming out on something. Hit it. Oh, oh, we're moving. We're moving. Oh, okay. I just had to back up and then we're good to go. All right, this is easier than I thought. And we're almost back to Clever Motors. Come on, let's go, boys. This thing is getting dirty quick. All right, let's pull in here. Let's take a left. There we are, Clever Motors. Wasn't too far, but it was quite the rough journey on the way back with this 
Mustang. Oh my gosh, that's probably pretty bad too. Um, is it damaged? I think I think we're good. It's still running too. All right. Well, last thing we need to do is build out a Ford pickup truck, take that mudding, and then it'll be officially a mudding day. So that will declare it. Let's go find a cool Ford. Okay, boys, we're starting out with a pretty basic Ford here, but we're going to build out the Tremor package. If you don't know what the Tremor package is, it's basically the off-road package of a Super Duty truck. So the 2021 F350 Limited, we're going to put the power package. That's an upgraded engine, wheel setup. We got to find the Tremor rims. They're around here somewhere. Hey, there they are. Look at that. The Tremor stocks. These things have got some pretty good mud grip. Not as good as that mud swamp tires we've had on the GMC and also that semi, but it might do pretty good. We're here to test it out. So let's see. We got the FX4 package. We need to switch that to the Tremor package. Look at that. Got the nice Tremor badge. Very cool. We're going to leave the grill stock. The bodywork is going to be blacked out because it's an all blacked out truck. That's how they are built. At least most of them. And then let's see. Bumpers will color match. Mirror caps will be color matched on the top. And then tint, of course. Whoa, look at that exhaust pipe. That thing's giant. All right, we don't need that. We don't need a hood stack like the GMC. We already got that. So we'll leave it stock. And then attachments, we can do a couple of different things. But as far as colors go, we're going to black the whole truck out. There we go. This thing is sweet, man. This looks like Batman's truck. So, all right, let's buy it. $99,800. Not too bad. I'm just joking. That's a lot of money. But all right, let's take this thing for a rip. Oh, it looks so cool. And it blends in so good. Undercover to tremor package. All right, let's jump in. Fired up. Nice diesel. All right, we're on the move. Let's see how this stock F250 tremor does. This is a 250, not a 350. But, oh, okay, we're moving. We're moving here. I like what we're seeing here. This is doing good. Come on, come on, Tremor. All right, all right. No, 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 don't lose it, don't lose it. Okay, okay, we're gaining speed, we're gaining speed. You heard it here first, we're gaining speed. I think, I think this is doing good. We're doing uh, good RPMs here. Um, The truck is, is full of mud. Um, We might have to do a wash day as well. This is bad. Oh, this one's like the dirtiest of them all. Besides the windows, we got the wipers going. Oh, yeah, boys. We're full sending it. Okay, okay, that's enough mud. Let's take a left. That's a right. All right. Ho, ho, ho. That's insane. Look at how much mud is covered on this truck. I've never seen it like that before. So, all right. Well, guys, I think that's where we call it. We did the official last test. The gosh dang good American Ford Tremor. If you want to see us come back, maybe do more mudding stuff like this in other cities, drop a like on today's video and subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.